Hey, you guys. Happy Friday. <laughs> okay, so I've been sitting on YouTube reading uh, comments and responding. And y'all, I'm so tired of Melissa Blake trolls. And maybe it's just one troll. And I think this person has been here before and they just changed their handle to something else called Kobe Locks. You're a troll. Anytime you come to somebody's page, you watch their video, and then you somehow twist everything that's said in that video, and then accuse me of saying things, of, of doing things, of saying that I should be doing different things. Listen here. I don't know what else to tell you. Oh, and the, and the kicker. This is the kicker. I have to be experienced and trained and um, paid to even speak on Knotted Locks, according to Kobe Locks. Yeah. Y'all, please tell me how that makes any sense. You know, because I gave the example of how, you know, sports commentators... They commentate on sports even though they never played. And then she countered that with, but they're paid to do their research. Girl, everybody don't have to have knots put in their hair. They don't have to be paid. They don't have to be experienced to have an opinion. Yes, I have an opinion. I'm not speaking from experience. I don't have to speak from experience. Anybody could look at something and see that, okay, that don't look right. That don't sound right. It don't look good. And that's what a lot of people have done with knotted locks. All you have to do is look at Melissa Blake's hair and see that it does not look good. She is supposed to be the walking advertisement for the product that she's selling. And honey, her hair looks a hot mess. I don't care if it's due to whatever. The knots that she's put in her hair over all these years look horrendous. Stop coming to my page trying to tell me what I should and should not be saying, what I should and should not put out. And then if y'all confused about what I'm talking about, this chick is speaking on the, uh, the video I did about people paying to have the locks taken out of their hair. In that video, the first few minutes of it, I said who the person was that told me that she has people coming to her asking her to take these locks out their hair. I gave the name. I gave her contact info of where you can find her, how you can Google her, Google her, right? I was very, very clear. And this chick, Kobe Lock, hops in my comments and still says that um, I'm giving misleading information. I didn't uh, state whether or not the knots that people are requesting to get out of their hair is if they were knotted locks by Melissa Blake or if they were knots that they put in by themselves. Girl, are you crazy? Like, why does that even matter? Why is that even a point? It's not a point. The point is, people have seen Melissa Blake's videos. Every People wanna test out whether putting knots in your locks is gonna work, if it's gonna save their locks. So if people chose to do this and whether or not they use Melissa's methods, who cares? That's not the point. The point is, they've seen her videos they felt confident enough to experiment in their own hair based on her videos. So how is this all of a sudden my fault because someone pointed, pointed this out to me that they're going to locticians, this loctician in particular, to have their knotted locks taken down. And I made a video about it. Now all of a sudden I'm the bad person because I'm tearing down Melissa Blake. I need you unhinged trolls to please stop. And please stop creating new handles and then popping up 
miraculously in my comments with, with the same rhetoric, the same craziness. If you want to support Melissa Blake, please go do that. If you want to bring more business to her, please do that. But coming to my page and going in my comments and try and accusing me of being all these things, I'm malicious, I'm cackling, I'm laughing, I'm misinforming, I'm purposely misleading people. Like, girl, stop. You sound very unhinged. You clearly are not listening or truly watching my video because all I do is ask questions. And in this particular video, all I did was speak on what someone brought to my attention. If you want further clarification, please go to that YouTuber that I named. I gave her name. I gave her shop name. I even gave her location. Go to her. Talk to her. Reach out to her. Message her. Matter of fact, go to her page and go on her comments. And please give that same energy to her that you gave me. Please accuse her of misleading Tan uh, in Houston. That's her name. Please go to her page and give that same energy. And stay off of mine. Because I'm not going to stop speaking on what I want to speak on. I don't have to get paid. I don't have to be trained to know that I don't want knots in my hair. And I'm not stopping nobody else from getting knots in their hair. People are doing it, clearly. A lot of people are doing it. People in the comments and all my other videos have said that they've tested it out. They've experimented. I don't control what grown women do. But yeah, exit stage left. Stop coming to my page trying to tell me what to do because that don't work with me. I don't operate that way. And um, stop creating new new handles and commenting as if you've never commented before. I know you're the same person, girl. Bye. Bye. Y'all have a wonderful weekend. You too, Kobe Locks, or whatever your true name is, honey. You're a Melissa Blake disciple. Keep that mess over there on her page, not mine. Have a great weekend, y'all. Bye.